So I've always been a teacher that is very passionate about the social emotional learning of our students and having a growth mindset. I've seen the impact it could make on students when they start believing in themselves. So, you know, pandemic hit and kids are coming back to school and they're very um, unsure of themselves. Uh, they're unsure of how to socialize. They're unsure that they can do the work. They've struggled at home. And so I had uh, several discussions and emails back and forth with my principal, Mrs. Solis. And through those conversations and those emails, she came back to me and she says, Heather, you got it. You're doing it. You're doing an SEL class in our specials rotation. So I am the only one in the district doing this. So it's really exciting to kind of be piloting this in the district. Um, I hear counselors are asking about it and principals are asking about it. So it's kind of neat to be able to do something that really is for the students' social emotional well-being. As we uh, get going each day we started with mindfulness and just kind of just relaxing because the kids come into school and they're rushing or there's stuff going on in class or whatever's going on and you could just see that they need a calming place they need a spot to realize I can calm myself down um, so they actually enjoy it um, I hear the kids love coming uh, to mindset my class is called mindset matters and they love coming to the mindset class um, and they have really embraced it I had a couple of um, moments, some really aha moments that I was making an impact with that. One was a little first grader. He had come into my class and um, we were sitting at the different tables and the kids can sit and choose a spot to sit at the table and someone had chosen where he wanted to sit. He was very angry, mad, just upset, crying. He started crying and he couldn't stop. And I saw he was frustrated and I, and I called him over to me and I was gonna have him do the activity I was doing instead, but he just couldn't calm down. So I reminded him of a book that we had read the week before um, called uh, The Angry Octopus. And the angry octopus squishes in his body, he's taught, and then learns to relax it and to breathe. So we did that exercise three times, and by the third time, he stopped crying. Like, completely stopped crying, joined in like nothing was wrong, um, and just totally calmed him down. And what the nice thing was too is all his friends showed compassion and did the same thing. They did the activity with us because they wanted him to join in with us too. 